Hey everybody, Danny Mod here. Thanks for joining us. In this lesson, I'm going to give you a drill that seems to work so often with many of my students. It helps them get out of not just these pristine bunkers like this every single time, but it helps them get out of bunkers which might not have um, much sand in them. You know, the horrible bunkers where they're really hard and compact, it's gonna help you with that too. So we're gonna cover strike, we're gonna cover distance control, we're even gonna cover long bunker shots, those horrible ones that most people struggle with because it's just a small tweak in your technique and you'll find them super, super easy. Now, before I get into the lesson, if you're new to the channel, from your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos just like this one every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, you never have to remember a thing. I'll always put a free down little practice guide in the description box below. So I know bunkers can be super scary for some people, but I want to make it really, really easy for you today. So what I've done here, look, I've drawn two tram lines with a ball sat right in the middle, and the tram lines are about two club widths apart. Now why I've done that is because I'm going to assess your bunker plate first of all. What I want you to do is I want you to set up so the club is right in the middle of these tram lines here. What I want you to do now is make some swings and assess where your club is striking the sand relative to those true tram lines. So watch this. Can you see here, I've hit behind the tram lines, okay? If I did that and you did that, you wouldn't get the ball out. What you'd actually do is you'd thin it straight into the slope, okay? This is what generally happens when you hit where behind, okay? The second thing is, is you can now make some swings and check if you're over here somewhere, the chances are you're hitting the ball first and the ball's gonna fly straight over the back of the green. Don't want that either. So assess initially with these two tram lines what you're doing. And then what we'll do is we'll work on the drill. So what I do is I work up and down this line, backwards and forwards, just assessing where my strike point is. And this I would do, by the way, myself, every single time or before I go and start striking shots. Because what it does is it gives me a simple assessment, and I'm gonna show you in a second, how you can start to adjust your body to make this perfect every single time. But before we get into that, there's one more assessment I'd like you to do. I'd like you to assess now the depth that your club is going. Your depth is gonna control your distance, help you control your distance. If, for instance, when you're making these motions, you're going really deep into the sand, you're gonna find it very difficult to control your depth. So you roughly, all you wanna imagine here is this. You wanna imagine that you're taking almost like a five pound note out, okay? Or if you're in the States, a dollar note. All you're doing here, look, we're having a nice, gentle, Look at that, nice bit of sand, but not, no sand at all, and not too deep. So assess now your consistency of sand. The, once you've done these assessments, I'm now going to set up and how you can again achieve all of what you're after with one simple drill. Okay, so let me give you a drill now that my students absolutely love, and it makes what we've just been talking about so much easier to achieve. What I'd like you to do is take your lead foot, okay, and place it so the little toe of your lead foot is directly in line with the middle of this tram line. Then take your trail foot and move it behind you. Don't worry, we're gonna go into a normal bunker stance in a second and show you how to do that, but this drill will help you feel so many great things. Put all your pressure over onto this lead side. And the aim here, why I love this exercise here, is if you were to swing now, and what I see the biggest problem with bunkers is this, trying to lift it out, you have no support here anymore. You can immediately get body awareness and learn how to feel it. What you want instead is you want, look, the club to swing on an arc. And the way it does this, it pivots around this lead leg here. So see how my hip's working around, and I'm finishing here. I'm finishing in balance, okay? So what I'll do here is this, my aim is to still get in this tram line here, okay? But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make some swings and just one other thing, I'm gonna make sure that I'm always gonna be throwing this club so the club goes out to the ball, handle moves to body, and I'm gonna try and finish and hold that finish position. So throw it down into the sand and hold that finish position. Feel what that's like, watch this. Don't want that. You'll feel it straight away. So it's a great way of educating where you need to be and how you get that sense of arriving in right the same spot each and every single time. So you practice this. Find the balance first, feel what it's supposed to be like, then go into the shot. Don't worry about distance control to start with, literally just make a swing. And don't blade it like I've just done there. So why did I blade? Do you see myself lose my balance a little bit there? 
So I actually literally there leaned back a fraction. So I got that feedback. So what I'm going to do now, so I don't thin it next time, is make sure that I stay over this ball and the club goes down into the sand as opposed to leaning back. So watch this. Look at the difference. I throw the club into the sand, ball pops up. As opposed to I just lean back a fraction. This drill gave me that feedback. It will give you the feedback too. So go through this process one by one, and then we'll go into the setup in, proper setup in a second. Feel where you need to go, hold that finish, learn from the feedback, and you'll start getting them out nearly every single time with a bit of spin. So again, use that drill. You can take that drill out on the golf course. It works so, so well. But as you saw, when I hit a shot, I got feedback that I might be falling back. So I would literally develop the feeling of what I needed to do. Then what I'd do is I'd set up into a proper bunker stance and start to transfer it. So the ball position would be opposite my lead foot here. Stance is reasonably square. I may open my face just a little bit. Then what I do, look, I lower myself into the sand. Very, very important. The lower you get, it's a lot easier to skim the sand basically here. If you stand too tall and play like a normal shot, you end up having to you end up driving the sand, and you don't want to drive the sand out of the bunker. That's not what we're after. We want to the remember we want the ball to come out on a five pound note or a dollar note of sand. Okay, so from here, I've got the feedback from that drill that I just lean back a fraction, get it a bit stuck inside. Similar to my golf swing sometimes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get that sense here, just like I want you to do from what you learned from the drill. I'm going to now feel how I need to turn down into this ball and hold that follow through. So I'm staying, my pressure staying here. It's not going to lean backwards. Throwing that club, throwing the club out to the ball, handle back into body here so that bounce can work, okay? Again, we'll talk distance control in just a second. So get myself set. Look at the height on that now. Beautiful. Just ran off the greener fraction. Probably just caught a little bit too much sand in terms of depth. So it beautifully came out there, but I hit it a bit too hard. So how do you then control your distance? Well, once you've now perfected, that was a beautiful strike there, beautiful um, uh, swing, but I swung a little bit too long. So once you've perfected the strike point and the depth control, all you do is get yourself set. All I'm gonna do now is swing a little bit shorter and throw it so I finish a little bit shorter, okay? So it becomes maybe hip height to hip height for this one as opposed to chest to chest for slightly longer ones, okay? So ball position's in play, feel staying over the ball as opposed to leaning backwards. Again, again, very, very important here that I throw the club look into the sand and now look, come on ball. Far better. That is how we start to judge your distance control on your bunker shots. Who fancies now playing the shots out of the horrible, horrible hard lies where there's no sand at all? Let's have a look at this. So, hard sand. Let's scrape all this away for a second, okay? So, so there's no sand in this bunker whatsoever. Right. Brutal. So, all you've got to do, look, when there's no sand in a bunker, is you have to break the seal. So when there's no sand in, what I'm gonna do now, if you take this exercise here, I'm gonna literally now imagine I'm throwing the club, all right, the heel of the club, I'm gonna throw it into the sand, quite firmly into sand. That's gonna break the seal. What I don't want here is too much of the bounce to be thrown this way like I would do on powdery sand. I want more of the heel to be thrown. So it's almost like more of a chopping motion. I feel like I'm, with my wrists, I'm really chopping downwards a fraction more, okay? But I'm gonna do this drill just to show you how this works as well. So, because you'll, ne if you fall backwards, you'll never work. So I'm gonna throw and throw this club almost like in a chopping fashion into the ball. Now look at this, that's hard sand and oh, almost into the hole. So when it's firm, just get yourself in more of a chopping motion into the sand, but the same principles apply. Let's now look at how you apply this to some long bunker shots. So once you've perfected strike, bunkers become really easy. And how do you perfect strike? Well, you make sure that your club enters in the right spot, exits in the right spot, and you control depth. How have we done that? Well, the drill, you keep your body nice and st uh, steady so the sternum's over the space here, doesn't lean back. And how do you control depth? Well, you do it by throwing the club and making sure that you're pivoting out of the sand, okay? Not throwing it and staying dead still, but you're pivoting out of the sand. 
getting a feel of what that finish feels like, okay? Now I've got here a 50 degree and a 60 degree. If I'm gonna go 60, it's gonna give me a lot more height. It's gonna require a slightly fuller swing and it's gonna probably land a lot softer. Now, what do I do? No difference, okay? Because you've got the perfect strike, like uh, now it's just like hitting a shot off the fairway. Ball position further forward in your stance because we do need to hit the sand. All I'm gonna do is exactly what we've just talked about, but simply swing more rip high to rip high. And look at this, I'm holding my finish, turning through the sand here, pivoting through, while simultaneously throwing that club down. Simple as this. Now watch the spin. Super simple. So that's gonna be loads of spin, lands beautifully softly, really, really easy to do once you can get the sense of this action. Then what you might feel, that's standing, that seems a bit scary, I don't wanna swing that hard. Okay, no problem. Then what I want you to do, is move to a 50 degree wedge. So all we're gonna do here is exactly the same principle. What I, instead of what I want you to do, is just imagine now you're gonna swing just that little bit shorter. It requires a more gentle approach. Same principles apply. I'm still gonna imagine I'm throwing the club down into sand and I'm pivoting around this lead leg. I'm gonna hold this nice balanced uh, finish here, get myself set and much, much smaller stroke, okay? But ends up pretty damn decent, okay? So ultimately what you're doing is, is first of all, control your entry point, exit point, depth. Use that kind of drill, that kind of tram line. That alone will hugely help. You could just do that one drill alone, that could perfect your bunkers. If you struggle with it, move then to this exercise here to monitor how stable you need to go. So you have to learn the pivot, throw the club. So you're throwing the club out, so you let the bounce work club back to ball, handle back to body, throw it down into that sand. While you're doing that, hold that finish. Pivoting around this leg, hold the finish. If you start losing your balance, you know you're off. Look at that shot I hit. I lost my balance, I got that feedback, took it into the next shot. That's how you start to improve. So I super, super hope this helps your bunker play. If it does, and you know somebody else is struggling with bunkers, please do share it. And of course, look, I always put a free download or practice guide in the description box below. If you're new to the channel, come and join the channel by pressing that subscribe button and the bell. But until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.